N400 part 5 information about your residence. Uh, this is sometimes one of the trickier sections for most people because it's, it's, it's hard to put together exactly when you lived, where, and what were the dates. And so this section, USCIS is asking you, in the last five years, where have you lived? And you should list your the locations where you've li lived starting from the most recent and then going down from there. So for example, you know, if you currently live somewhere uh, and that's, you know, ABC, uh, ABC Main Street or 123 Main Street and you've done that for the last year, so that would be in, in, in item A and then on B would be what happened, you know, from last year and further and then C and, and so forth. And so here in C, D and E, and so you're given five, uh, five slots here, but if you need additional ones, you can just go to the to the end of the form and file any additional information and we'll, we'll cover that towards the end of the form. But um, what's really important here is that you try to be exact with the dates. Okay? You try to be exact with the dates. And so, you know, when were you living somewhere and then until when? So this is until the present. Okay? So, uh, and, and, and try to do the same thing for all sections only for the last five years. Be careful of ever uh, of uh, overlapping dates because USCIS typically will note that. In fact, in the online application, uh, it it comes up as an error. It'll give you an alert if you have overlapping dates. And so, that's part five information about your residence. We'll jump into part part six next.